We continue to preview the 2023 college football season today. Stop is Creek, Nebraska, and we visit with Chris Bessler, who is the head football coach at Doan. Coach, last season, four and six in uh, overall and, and in conference play as well. There is a lot of evidence that would support a claim the GPAC is the toughest football conference on, in all of the NAI. I'll, I'll see what you think about that and, and bring us up to speed on, on where you are coming from last year. Yeah, um, that is how we finished this last year. Um, I would, I haven't coached in the other leagues, so, uh, but I do know this league is, is extremely, uh, extremely tough week in and week out. Uh, it's one of those leagues that any team can beat any team. Um, so you definitely have to show up on Saturdays. <laughs> definitely. So, well, well, you all did again, final game of the season, you come out with a victory, something positive to, to end the season on. Let's talk about your offense and get things started right there. Is Cruz Kerwin one of the freshmen on this team? You had a number of freshmen that were able to get some time for you last year, uh, run up some numbers for you as well. He was your quarterback. You used three over the course of the season. But as it went on, it seemed to be Kerwin more and more, completed 50% of his passes, and also was uh, responsible for all of the passing touchdowns. Yeah, uh, Cruz will be back, and, and we're excited to have him back. He's had a, he's had a good spring um, you know, we did play some different quarterbacks here this last year, um, until about game four, uh, when we went up to Dort, uh, we ended up, uh, going in overtime with those guys up at their place and, and Cruz came in during that game. Um, unfortunately he didn't finish, uh, because of an injury, um, uh, which set him back a couple weeks, but once he was healthy, he came in and, and started the rest of the way for us. So, uh, good kid, um, he throws the ball really well, and, and uh, uh, he's a good leader. So we're excited to uh, have him have him back. Coach, can you tell us a little bit about more more about that offense? And and I know from a, a scoring perspective, you want to put more points on the board this year. How would you go about that? Yeah, um, no doubt about it. Uh, we we kicked too, we attempted too many field goals last year, uh, so we need to. Uh, um, be more productive on the offensive side and, and put some put some points up. Uh, and, and that's why I'm excited uh, for this year. Uh, we have a, a pretty significant group of offensive guys coming back that, that started this past year. Uh, we talked about Cruz already. Um, Frazee Wynn will be coming back um, as a running back, and, and um, he's a, been a two- or three-year starter for us. Uh, Jeremiah Payne and, and Brian Lambert are both uh, – both starters for us that for multiple years uh, coming back, uh, Brian's coming back for a COVID year and and uh, with good speed and and experience. So uh, have a couple guys up front in the offensive line that we're excited about. Uh, young guys, you know, this year we were we were very young in our offensive line. Uh, these two guys, uh, JB Neal and David Garcia, are both guys that that started um, almost all year, uh, if not all year. Uh, in the offensive line as, as sophomores. So um, talented kids, um, great energy. Uh, we need to continue to get bigger and stronger. Um, and then Nate Fox. Uh, Nate Fox is a guy on the offensive side that, um, you know, Nate is, has started since he was a freshman for us as a tight end, kind of an H back. We move him around a little bit. Um, he's had a great off season and, and is bigger and, and faster um, coming back. So, uh, we're excited. Uh, I, I liked what we saw during spring ball, especially from the offensive side. Um, we just need to continue to, to develop and, and uh, find ways to put the ball in the end zone. Coach, let's let's stay there with the spring ball for just a moment. I know you had your spring game about a month ago, and, and uh, you had an opportunity to see things on both sides of the ball. I do want to talk about the defense as well, but uh, what stands out to you from the performance that uh, the players put forth during the spring game? Well, I would say, um, you know, the offense uh, really got going early um, and, and there was a lot of development. So, you know, I talked about guys that that, uh, you know, started this last year, uh, but there's also a lot of other guys in there that that had really good springs. So um, I thought, uh, you know, our offensive coordinator did a nice job in this spring of, of mixing some things up and, and playing to our our talents. Um, so I, you know, I was happy with what happened offensively uh, during the spring. We were more explosive. Uh, we took care of the ball, uh, which is critical. Um, steady development. 
All right, Coach. We're speaking now, by the way, with Coach Chris Bessler from Doan in his sixth season with the program here on the Summit today. And I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here on Midwest Sportsnet. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. We're previewing the 23 college football season. The Doan Tigers coming off a four and six record last year. We talked about the offense a little bit, Coach. That one of the players that stands out to me on defense, and he seemed to have uh, time on the field not only in defense, special teams as well. Cade Wiseman who fifth, was fifth on the team in tackles, had a couple of interceptions, a couple of forced fumbles as well. Can you talk about your defense? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll start with paid. Uh, we have multiple guys coming back on the defensive side as well, um, you know, and starting with Cade, a uh, very talented player. Uh, you know, he is he has uh, helped us on special teams as a kick returner, as a punt returner. Uh, but then also in our secondary as, as a corner. He's a guy that, that you can move around multiple places just because he is a talented and he is very smart, um, but a great competitor, very instinctual, um, works extremely hard. So, um, a few other guys on, on the defensive side, uh, we will return uh, Owen Koontz in our defensive line. He's a, uh, it'll be a two or three year start. He was a, one of our captains this past year. Um, and Owen is, has had a really good off season as well. A um, couple guys at the linebacker level, Ty Martinson will be coming back uh, for a, a COVID year. Um, and Jarrett Boggs, who started this year as a freshman for us at our Mike linebacker. Both of those guys will be back uh, that were starters out of our linebacking crew. And then, you know, moving back into the secondary, uh, I, we talked about Wiseman a little bit already, but Ryan Michael is a, a returning three-year starter, full going on four-year starter for us. Um, he'll be coming back for a COVID year. Um, Jackson Seward, um, kid from St. Paul, Nebraska, um, has helped us multiple areas, but he really settled in as a as a strong safety for us uh, this past year. Uh, very physical, can run. Um, and Marcus Randazzo also coming in at, at a at a safety position. So we have. You know, we have four guys back in our in our secondary with extensive uh, experience from this past year and, and with several of them uh, for two and three years. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a good group. I, I like what we have coming back defensively. We need to need to continue to gel a little bit and and uh, continue to get stronger. Uh, we will need to replace some guys up front, but I think there's some guys that are um, are ready to jump into that role. Coach, we did mention Wiseman special teams, one of your leading returners there, but uh, the, the foot of Kellen Meyer really made the difference, uh, I think, uh, well, in three of the, the four wins. I mean, it was it was a field goal that sealed the deal for you all to, to come away with a victory, including the first one of the season. I mean, it was uh, the Kellen Meyer show, actually, <laughs> when it all came down to it, uh, putting points on the board. And he's just a freshman, too, so that uh, that's a good thing for your special team. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Kellen is a uh... – is very talented has a very talented leg, um, a, a big leg. Uh, he helps us in all of our special teams. Uh, you know, he averaged um, 40, just under 43 uh, yards punting the ball this past year. Um, he's going to be on, on his kickoffs. He's going to put a lot of them in the end zone and some of them through the, the back of the end zone. Um, but obviously we were very confident in his ability uh, kicking the ball uh, with field goals uh, because we tried a lot of fi long field goals this year. <laughs> a lot of, you know, I think we had tried over 12, 50 yarders uh, or more. So um, he definitely has an impact in the game. We need to keep him healthy. Um, but also a guy standing out on the special teams is, is Jeremiah Payne. Um, you know, Jeremiah was a second team all conference guy as a kick returner last year and, and a very explosive, a very explosive player. So, um, you know, I think uh, on the on the special team side, we have some some re uh, really good experience coming back, some explosive players, and uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can build around them. And I, and I want to clarify too. I said he is a freshman, but the the academic year I'm sure is over. So he's he's got the freshman year in the the rearview mirror now. So heading into his his next season of eligibility. Well, coach, then uh, let's uh, just look ahead. The, the season is not that far away now. And, and uh, it's it's enjoyable talking about football. I know we're still a couple of months away, but the season gets underway for you on August 26 as you travel to Graceland, a, uh, a team also trying to, to break out a little bit in its own conference, non-conference play for you all before you start conference play 
on September 2nd. That is at home there in Crete, and you take on Dort. Can you talk about the opening to your season? Yeah. Um, no, we we added uh, a non-conference game with, with Graceland, and we're excited to go over there. And, uh, you know, the season is right around the corner. We're going to be coming into camp here early August, so we're not that far away. Um we're, we're excited to, you know, to go on the road and, and uh, go play a different team, uh, someone outside of the conference a little bit, uh, and kind of pre help prepare ourselves for that home opener against Dort. So uh, we're, we're excited where things are at. All right. Well, Coach Chris Bessler, uh, success to the Tigers this year. And, and I really appreciate you taking time with us today. We're continuing to preview the college football season for 2023, and we will be following you as the season goes on. And God bless you, sir. Thank you for your time. Oh, I appreciate you, Joey. Go Tigers.